All right, so here we go. This is uh, this is a special episode today because I'm gonna be opening some fan mail, as you as you probably know. So with me, I have a bunch of letters that I've I've mainly I haven't read them. I've opened them and just kind of like skimmed through, but I haven't read any of them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna check some of them out. First of all, thank you guys for all the support that you send my way and all the love and the positive energy and everything. I really appreciate you. I, I really do. I don't I don't want to get all sappy, so I won't. I'm gonna get into reading some of these. I do appreciate a handwritten letter. So thank you for that. Dear Chris Ramsey, I'm an 11 year old and I'm interested in card magic and cardistry. My name is Austin. Uh, please show this in a mail time part of your video, but please don't give out personal info about me. Well, sorry, Austin, people know your first name now. <laughs> My best friend and I want to make a deck and don't know how to make it. Where do you go? We already have a back design and know what it looks like, but we don't want a high quality handling deck with an air cushion finish. Thank you, Austin. So first of all, Austin, I really appreciate the penmanship. Your handwriting is better than my handwriting handwriting and you're 11. Great question. I get this question a lot about how to create your own deck of cards. So there's a great site called makeplaincards.com. Now they're a bit pricey. It's like $25 a deck, but you can print one deck and the quality isn't the best. It's actually pretty good when you receive them, but they do end up clumping a lot. But if you just want something to put your name on, something to goof around with, I've done this myself. I'll leave the link below if you guys are interested. It's not USPC standards or anything, but if you just want a prototype deck, I know a lot of Kickstarter uh, guys who, who want to kickstart their decks go through Make Playing Cards. So Hope that helps you. Thanks for the letter. This here was given to me. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is uh, Davide. Thanks, Davide. Appreciate the art, man. Appreciate the time you put in. All right, I got a letter here from uh, a guy named Mike. Mike's got a bit of a backstory. I'm not going to go into detail, uh, but he's had he's had a rough time. You know, some losses that he's gone through in uh, in the past years with family and illnesses. He says, "I've never been in a situation where I'm completely alone to try to recover uh, my place in life. Sitting alone, contemplating how things got this bad for me." while seeing the world continuing is uh, continuing on is hard. Uh, I'm a good person who volunteers thousands of hours per year and have been doing so for over seven years now. Uh, I'm the guy that will take a call from a friend at 3 a.m. to go over and help them. I'm the listener for so many people. I pay for meals for people who I see can't afford it. I try to be the person that I would like to have next to me as a friend. What have I done in my life to deserve any negativity? I came across your channel back in October. I've been subscribed ever since. Love your videos and look forward to them. Thankfully, you are creating more content since you left Illusionist. I don't want this to sound sappy, but I can't find words to describe it. Your videos have literally saved me. I've never been into magic in my life. When I saw your video, the street magic at the fair while while going through YouTube, I was instantly hooked. I've been practicing ever since. And you end the video with no matter what it is you do, it's not about how good you are that defines you. It's about how incredible you are as a human being. You talked about depression having people talk about it. I think you underestimate the, your influence on people. I found a path in magic through you. I couldn't be more thankful I, if I tried. I've performed a few tricks to some people and the moment of the reveal is not only an incredible feeling for the spectator, but more for me. There's a feeling that makes me feel that all the work is worth it. So learning magic has gotten me back out into social settings instead of hiding at home by myself, depressed. Chris, thank you. Thank you for your videos. Thank you for being honest and a humble guy. Uh, just know that uh, you saved a guy from complete depression. If by some chance you ever cross paths, I owe you a drink and a heartfelt handshake. Your virtual friend, Mike. Hashtag Ram fam. Mike, dude, thank you so much for this letter, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. And you're right, I, I do underestimate the influence that my videos have. That's, you're 100% bang on with that. I never anticipated to have this response with the viewers or anything. And it's been, it's been a sort of blessing in disguise. I don't, I never started doing videos for this kind of reaction or for, you know, I never set out to quote unquote, change somebody's life. Um, but the fact that it has, and the fact that it has inspired you and it's gotten you you know, a better place in your life is for me, probably the greatest gift that I could receive. So thank you so much for writing that letter and I hope everything is well, man. And if I do meet you, I'll get you a drink. All right, we got another handwritten letter. This one's a doozy, it's a three pager. First off, I hope you can read my writing because if you can't, well, I won't know, will I? <laughs> nope. Basically, this is a thank you letter for all, the, um, for all the laughs and happy times and amazing moments you've shared with me and helped me to share with other people. My interest in magic began when I was just a small boy when my cousin performed a magic teleporting ball trick and still to this day, I haven't figured it out. I think when I was a young teenager, like 13 or 14, I saw my first David Blaine special on TV. Not unlike myself, I saw how happy it made people to have the sense of astonishment and I wanted to make make people feel that way. So that's when the passion started. It was nine months around the same time I started school and around the same time my depression started to kick in. I'd say not because of your videos, but you are the reason I'm doing magic and performing today. You helped me through so many tough times. I don't even have enough paper in my house to tell you. I might have forgotten to hit the like button a few times though. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're forgiven. Maybe I should tell you a bit about myself because you can't have all the limelight to yourself. <laughs> well played. 
I love magic because of Chris Ramsey and I love Chris Ramsey because you've saved my life. At a time when I was deeply depressed and I couldn't talk to anyone because the reason I was depressed was I find it hard to get along with my family uh, when we're always fighting. Even now, we still don't talk. I can't even remember the last time I said I love you to any one of my family members. So I'd... So I had planned to commit suicide uh, because I felt there was no need for me in the world because if my own family doesn't want me, then who would? I was cutting myself and I constantly kept thinking of what way would be the best way to kill myself. At this point, I hadn't seen your videos yet. Don't worry, they're not that bad. <laughs> Happiness that I could give to so many other people convinced me not to commit suicide. I got goosebumps right now. Obviously, I would still get terrible uh, patches of depression, but it was worth it uh, for the reactions of other people to the tricks that you've been teaching me. Thank you. I have my life to owe to you and expect to hear more from me in the future because I'll be sending you one hell of a surprise. So good, I don't even know what it is yet. You have given me a new outlook on my life and I thank you for that. I wouldn't be here writing this letter otherwise. I'm so jealous of your beard. I don't think there's a time when I'm not wearing your hat. I've even worn them to bed and in the bath. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to say that uh, I'm super grateful you've given me a second chance at life. I have so much love and respect uh, for who you are and what you stand for. I basically uh, just love you is what I'm trying to say. All jokes aside, thanks Chris, you're my hero. F Woo. Thank you, you know who you are. I don't have to mention your name. Um, God, I don't even know what to say. You are an incredible person and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Thank you for that letter. Living in a situation like that with your family must be really difficult. I've been through some tough times myself with my family. It's not easy. It's not easy, especially growing up. You got a lot of emotions going on, a lot of changes happening in your life and they seem to ignore that. They don't they don't see it as you see it. And for in my experience, like my teenage years and my, my preteens were probably like the hardest times of my life. As adults, we often look at kids and we're like, you got it easy, but they don't know how hard it is to be a kid. They don't remember how hard it is to be a kid. Things hurt you more than when you're an adult and calloused and used to it. When you're when you're a kid growing up, you're not used to any of this. And adults look at it and they and they just take for granted that you are that you're going to live through it. But thank you for staying strong and thank you for uh, just thank you for still being here. <sighs> Okay. Hello, Chris Ramsey. I know this might be weird that a third, that a 14 year old is writing you, but I just want to say that you're such a cool magician. I watch your videos every day and I look forward to them each and every day you upload. I like magic and have been doing it for about a year and a half. I want I want to ask you a couple of magic questions. Number one, what is your favorite deck of cards for magic? Uh, for magic, I would have to say it's either the White Lions or Black Lions by David Blaine. I really love the way they handle. When did you start your magic career? My magic career started with full time with Murphy's Magic. Who would you say is the best magician? Uh, in my opinion, there are a lot of really good magicians and some people I look up to today uh, that have really inspired me are Derek Delgadio and Darren Brown as well has always been an inspiration to me. Have you ever thought about escape magic, such as handcuffs? For me, that's more of like a problem solving thing. And I think it's cool. It's kind of, for me, it's kind of like in the same vein as like a Rubik's cube where the effect is the method. I mean, you're escaping. Uh, so those are my thoughts. Thanks for that. And that was from Evan. Shout out to Evan. All right, this one. This has got this has got a bit of a backstory on this one. Uh, this girl named Tamara, Tammy, who's in Germany, who's not too far from where actually I grew up in Germany as a kid. And uh, her her boyfriend is a big fan, and he watches my videos. And Tamara, she wrote me probably 48 emails asking me for a signed deck for her boyfriend's birthday. I get messages like all the time, every day. I get a lot of them and I don't necessarily have time to respond to all of them. So she was fed up of me not responding <laughs> and wrote me a handwritten letter. Said, Julian, my boyfriend Julian is a big fan of you since September. He's obsessed with card magic and cardistry and he's pretty good and she gives me his Instagram. I won't go into the rest of this. All in all, she was really insistent on me sending her a deck of cards that she could surprise her boyfriend with. So first of all, Tammy, you're an awesome girlfriend, all right? Julian's a lucky guy to have you by his side, and I think he knows that. So I did, I signed a deck, sent it off, and then uh, Tammy was ecstatic, and she was surprising her boyfriend, Julian, with this deck, and she sent me the video of when she did. So have a look at this. No way. No way. Nein, nein, nein. 
Nein. Original und schon Poppig von Chris Ramsey. Und da steht alles Gute auf Deutsch, Mann. Oh, das ist That was fucking beautiful. Now, Tammy, you may, you may not have given me permission or Julian to, to use this video in my video, so I apologize, but I used it because it was too good not to. I'm planning a trip to Germany in the next, within the next year to go visit some family, and I'm doing a meetup, and I hope you guys can be there. I'd love to meet you in person. So thank you so much for, uh, for all the support and everything, and, uh, and uh, happy, happy belated birthday. Dear Chris, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me and my magic. Every time I watch your videos, I smile. You're really doing something right. It's pretty special. So yeah, thank you for being who you are. I really hope I can meet you sometime. Slash beat you in some basketball probably not if you're ever in ohio my door is open if you want to contact me it's from kevin thanks kevin appreciate appreciate the love homie and i'll take you up on that b-ball game better be handled ready your fan from lithuania is writing to you i'm 15 year old magician i practice magic for eight months i'm waiting always for your new stuff projects tutorials reviews etc i just love everything you do and create my english isn't good so don't judge me good luck and peace out he also drew my logo here like super well Thanks for the letter, buddy. This is turning into a longer video than I thought. I apologize, but I wanted to get through this and it's super important to me. Uh, my name is Nathan. I'm a 14 year old teenage magician that's super inspired by you. And I even bought an Omni deck because of you. In a recent stream, you asked people to give you gifts, give you gifts of the infamous Phenophthalene guy. I felt like the gifts are boring and suck. So I took the concept and applied it to this before you. What this guy has done is he sent me a Svengali, a handmade Svengali deck uh, where each other card is basically the, uh, uh, the Phenolf the Lean meme. <laughs> Appreciate the time you put into this. You guys are literally the best. Xander, who writes me a letter and he works for a company that makes like branding material, marketing material, and he sent me a huge box of stuff. Okay, there's some protective finish. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna open it. Oh, damn. What? <laughs> oh, wait. This back comes off too? Ooh, wee. Left it on my license plate, you think? We got stickers. You went out of your way to do this, and I appreciate you. That's like a trophy with my logo. How amazing is that? It's a spade. There's more! <laughs> Check that out. Chris Ramsey in this loose site with gold. I don't even know where to put these. This is amazing. I wanna thank you so much, dude. I'm gonna put, definitely put one of these up in my office and you'll see them chilling in my videos for sure. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate the gesture and I appreciate, like that must've cost you like a fortune in shipping. So thank you so much for sending that my way. I appreciate it a lot. All right, I've got a ton more letters, um, but I can't obviously read all of them. This video is gonna be like a half an hour long, but I do wanna read one that I got. Like I get a lot of emails and a lot of messages on social media and my personal email. I get a lot of messages of people dealing with depression and suicide for, for many, many reasons. I mean, it, it's terrifying, it's scary, it's sad, it's hard to read, uh, but it's also super uplifting for me to know that they found an outlet and I think that's so important, whether it's magic or anything else, like music or sports. I, I've been through depression myself um, a few years back and depression is not something you just get rid of for the rest of your life. It's something that comes back in waves and it hits you in the middle of nowhere and for no reason it's just on and it's there and it's like this this cloud over your head that you can't get rid of and that you feel that you could never get rid of and that's a really hard thing to live with especially as a teenager and i sympathize with all of you out there who are having a hard time um, but you know just stick through it you've got outlets practice get get into those outlets and and sometimes you got to push yourself through uh, to see the other side it won't show up you have to you have to actively just bite down and get it done Okay, I'm gonna read one of the sort of texts that I got. I'm not gonna say the name of this person. Uh, you know who you are if you're watching. This person says, I've recently taken up the challenge of learning a back palm with no prior knowledge of training. And I actually did it, good for you. By January, I returned to your tutorials and was finally hooked. She goes on saying, regardless of what many see as giving away carefully guarded secrets, I see a lifetime into another world or an escape. A passing of knowledge for a skill set capable of lighting up the faces of the people around us. It's a toolbox for which one might find greater meaning, a purpose. You and your passion for the art allowed me to rise up out of a dark place. What I've yet to divulge is what happened in between. You see, I'm a transgender woman. By that, I was assigned male at birth, yet feel and know myself to be a woman. I've been out and living as a female since 2012. My life becomes infinitely more complicated in light of my job and place I eventually come out in. I'm not gonna say where, where she works, 
Uh, I am, as it happens, the first openly transgender person at this workplace. Being so different from everyone around you can be stressful and isolating. I've often suffered from severe, severe depression as a result. Now, may I just say that your writing skills are exceptionally exquisite. You word things really well, and I appreciate that. 2016 overwhelmed me. I attempted to take my own life. It was not my first attempt, and I don't know if it will be my last. What I do know is that since then, I've fallen in love with card magic. It has, if anything, provided me a much needed diversion from the darker parts of my psyche. A large part of my newfound enthusiasm for magic is fueled by you. Still, what you do and who you are motivates me once again to pick up all 52 cards up off the floor, square them up, and create magic. I intend to create close-up card routine, which tells my story in a unique and profound way. I just felt compelled to tell you and let you know that you've helped me move on, that in a sense, you've saved my life. It is so very important to me that you guys share these your stories. I've dealt with a lot of criticism in the magic community for my videos. YouTube magic community right now for me, and these, like I said, I get a lot of these letters. You know, I try to find the best way to sort of deal with them. It's difficult because I'm not trained to deal with them. I'm not trained to, to deal, and I, I don't think the people write to me expecting me to deal with them or expecting me to respond. They just kind of want to tell somebody and they felt the need to let me know because they're, they're thankful for uh, something I've done that, that has helped them. Um, but in return, I wanna tell you that I am equally thankful. I am equally thankful as much as any of you have ever been thankful for anything that I've done. I am tenfold thankful for everything that you guys do for me. You know, so regardless of all the criticism on YouTube about magic exposure or whatever it may be, I don't care at this point. I don't care because you guys are real people, okay? You're not, you're just real people with real things and real lives and real problems and going through real things. And you found this platform as I found this platform and we've sort of found each other in this place where it helps us get through things. It helps us get by. I don't, the petty disputes about secrets and, and you know, crediting and history and stuff. Although it is important, it's not nearly as important as the things that you were going through. And if this is, if this channel serves as a small outlet to some of you, I am eternally grateful and I am completely humbled by that. And I want you guys to know that I got your back. You know, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to express myself right now with all the gratitude that I'm feeling. It's an incredible feeling and it, it's, it's, it's inspiring. Thank you. Thank you for, for bringing me here. Thank you for having me. I hope I won't let you down. And whatever I can do as a person to help anyone out there, whatever I can do, I hope this video helps some people. Uh, if you're going through something or, you know, tell somebody, let somebody know, find something, get, get some help, whether it's your family or whether uh, you have a hard time coming out, don't quit. Keep on doing what you're doing and I love all of you. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry it's so long. I'm sorry I got sappy. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace out. Much love. Rock.